You can use two different hoops. Uh, the spring tension hoop is kind of fun and, and easy. You don't have to stress Ooh. your hands to put it in there. Mm -hmm. The larger of the two, and we just want to center one of these. We can, we can keep repositioning this as we go down the, the organza, but we want to center this first one so that we can stretch that and just put it right inside that hoop. That. I'm doing that really well. Let me help you. Yes, thank you. That is a really easy hoop, actually. Yeah. It goes really fast. The um, German-type wooden hoops are very thin, so these are a lot better for going underneath the presser for the machine. A lot of people ask me, can I use my quilting hoop? Well, quilting hoops are about an inch thick, so you can't get that underneath the hoop, underneath the foot of the machine, and you would have to dip it in like this to get it into it. Which might this distort is, it a little bit yeah, or something. Yeah, this is much easier, much better to work with. So that's the one I prefer using because it holds the material nice and tight. Sometimes this will draw in the material and it's not a really good tight frame on there. So mm -hmm. same, same thing, we take the, the larger of the two and put that underneath. back here underneath and then the other one right on top. And we just want to center the few leaves that we're going to do and just press that all the way around mm -hmm. the outside.